Next is persuasion Aikido. Okay, how to use human nature to turn doubters into believers. So this is, we're going to talk about the strategy and the system. Okay, so why is Aikido? Aikido is part of self-defense the martial arts where you use the force of your opponent to ano, counter their attack. Okay, so hindi tayo mag-initiate. Diba? We'll use the natural force, their, their natural force and execute our move. So, but ko ginamit ang Aikido for this reference? Okay? It's because, in order to persuade people, hindi ito sa words na sinasabi natin. Diba? It's the psychological element of the human mind. We, hindi natin ko kontrahin yung natural tendencies ng tao. We'll instead, take advantage of the tendencies in order to convince them to do, um, to persuade them, either to buy or not. Or like, to, to take any action, okay? Read a blog post, click on a video, reply to us. We'll use the psychological tactics, okay? So the secret sauce to make people want to buy from you instead of your competitors, okay? This, this is something that I just, I made up through my experience. Of course, you have to have good content. You have to know what you're talking about, okay? Then, on top of that, marami naman tao... Uh, na maraming alam, di ba? But you also have to have a voice. So even if a lot of people know the same thing, iba yung, we, we tend to gravitate towards other certain people eh. kasi may style sila ng pagsasalita, ng pag-explain na mas naintindihan natin. Right? So that's why I, I, I guess sometimes it's hard for us to get international mentors kasi iba yung approach nila, iba yung the way they explain, di ba? Compared to those that are fellow Pinoy's. And story. So, on top of your voice, it's also important that they know your background, right? Your purpose. This is not always necessary, but it's a big plus. Like, for example, yung mga Apple products. Mas mahal siya than, Mac, eh, than Windows, than PC. But people buy it. Well, on top of the technology, is yung point, may, may coolness factor siya, one. Second, parang ang thinking kasi pag Apple, ang parang motto nila is think different, di ba? People want to think that they're special, di ba? They, that they are, they stand out from the rest. That's one of the reason people buy Apple because of the story. And we have our own stories as well. More than, more than just money making or business, there's a purpose. I'm sure there's a purpose why all of you are here right now instead of relaxing on a Saturday. You have a deeper purpose. I mean, who would want to listen to a lecture, di ba? When you could go out with your family right now. There's a purpose. There's a story behind each and every one of you. And it's something that you could use in your business. Okay, so elements of influence. I shared this six technique techniques, sorry, <laughs> previously in previous posts no, in, in my interview with Ray Edwards, but here they are, okay? This is inspired, well, this is directly from the book Influence by Robert Cialdini. So these are the six sort sort of triggers for people to, baga, to follow your lead, okay? So I'll explain them. Okay, first is authority. So obviously, authority, medyo madali to. If you want if you go to a doctor and the doctor tells you you take this medicine, you'll take the medicine because you have they have authority. Diba? So you, how do you get authority? How do you drive authority so that people would perceive you as someone they should follow? There are certain certain things that you could do. One, obviously, if you have the title. So if you're in the medical field, may blood ka, yung doctor helps you, then kung may mga under specialization ka, the title will help you. So, what if you don't have that title? So, it, there's still other ways. So, results or achievement. Diba? Kung if you were, if you were the top salesman sa, sa company nyo, syempre, kung magbigay ka ng advice about sales, people will listen. Diba? Achievement, um, um, the top five ka, in your department, or you won, you won an award, yung mga ganun, it, it helps 
validate yung authority. But sabi natin, wala ka rin nun, <laughs> di ba? Um, maybe you just work by yourself, di ba? Sino bibigay sa'yo ng recognition? This is where the research comes in again. This is kaya nga secret sourcing research. And I'm going to repeat, repeat this again and again. When you speak their language, for example, sabi natin, nandun tayo sa medical field again. So sabi natin, doctor with the title. Maybe results. May mga several awards yung doctor. But for example, there's a certain person na sabi natin, nag-gym siya and he has, he's suffering from back pain. Sabi natin, may isang doctor na na sabi, oh, sumasakit ba likod mo pag nagbubuhat? Ganyan. O, oh, dog, ganang ganyan. Dito ba? O, oh, ito gamot. Okay? But what if doctor ka, but you understand, nag-gym ka rin. Di ba? Or you do, you have done extensive research on people, injuries by people who lift weights. So you can say, ah, yung pain mo ba? Narandun mo pag nag-deadlift ka? Deadlift ka when you lift that shoulder? Tapos inaangat mo yung barbed? Dito ba? Dito pa sa lower left? Dito mo naramdaman? Kung ikaw, y- if that's what's happening to you, ikaw yung taong nagbubuhat and you feel the pain, tapos tumpak na tumpak yung sinasabi niya sa'yo, eh, syempre parang maniniwala ka sa kanya. But even if he's not a more experienced doctor than the other one, but if he understands your situation, ang assumption mo, the assumption is, if the person could clearly explain your problem, the next, the tendency is, we expect them to know the answer as well. Diba? Pag sinabi niyan, oh, dito ba? Sa lower left, masakit. Alam ko yan, na-experience ko na yan. Do this, rest two days, lift your leg, take this medicine, and wrap this around your back. Pag, pag sinabi niya yun, kung na-pinpoint niya yung problem mo, syempre, alam mo yung sagot niya, very specific for you. So, even if you don't have the title or the achievement, if you did your research, and you speak your reader's language, they will assume that you know their answer, the answer to their problem. And often, the answer to your, their problem is your product. Okay, so, thanks, Armand. I, I put in their situational authority. So, um, for example, yan, nagpa-traffic kayo, di ba? Medyo congested. Um, wala nagbibigay yan. If one person randomly stands up, then nagdidirect siya ng traffic, Susunod ka, susunod, even if wala siyang uniform, uh, MMDA or police, di ba? Sometimes there's certain situations that you could create authority, especially if there's a lack thereof, okay? So next is reciprocity. So reciprocity is like, just like what we're giving, when we give away a lead magnet, di ba? It's like a piece of the cookie. So kung gutom ka, kahit wala kang hindi mo makuha yung buong cookie, anything na makain mo will relieve part of your hunger. Di ba? So that's results in advance, even if hindi mo pa nakuha yung buong cookie. So, if hindi mo pa nakuha yung 10 session, sabi natin chiropractic treatment, if you get one session free, may immediate relief ka matatanggap. Di ba? That's results in advance. And sa loob mo, there's a goodwill towards that person who gave you that result. Di ba? So that's why so lead magnet, we give them results in advance. And sa email sequence, we build on that. We deposit sa Goodwill Bank. Diba? We give them further, further results. And also, we give take a chance to make them know us more, which is part of likability, which is the fifth part. Okay, so that's reciprocity. And we have a tendency na pag binigyan tayo ng gift, we want to pay them back. Diba? Na kaya, hindi ba awkward pag binigyan ka ng gift, tapos... Sabi natin, sa Christmas, may exchange gift, binigyan ka ng gift, tapos wala kang mabalik sa kanya, parang, parang masakit sa loob eh, no? parang nakakahiya. Because we have a tendency as humans to reciprocate good um, kindness. Diba? Yeah. Well, it goes the same with, sabi natin, may nag-atraso sa atin, meron din tayong urge to get them back. But you can see that we're using the human nature to our advantage. And dapat ethically, Okay. So that's reciprocity. Scarcity, one of my favorite. Scarcity could go two ways. One is deadline, which is time-based. One is limited supply. Okay? So sabihin natin may 10 session chiropractic, chiropractic treatment. So okay, na-feel mo yung first part. 
parang okay naman. Then, minor treatments ka. Okay, maintain, maintain. Tapos, pero at the back of your mind, meron kang option to get the permanent result. Eh, paano kung sabihin ng chiropractor? Ano, either I only accept clients, sabihin natin, 50,000 pesos in treatment. I will only accept until next Saturday. And nabasa mo yun, Thursday na. After nun, hindi na yung offer then you you there's a tendency to decide immediately. Di ba? Kung iniisip mo pa, maybe two months from now, gagawin ko. Pag may deadline, ngayon, I'll sign up tomorrow. Di ba? That's the power of deadline. Totoo din yan with assignments, products, di ba? I'm sure everyone who grew up knew the power of the deadline. And you could use that, that psychological trigger in your business as well. Of course, limited supply. Sabi natin, gusto ng doctor, hindi mo na naman deadline, anytime. Pwede ka mag- kuha ng treatment. Pero 10 lang yung slots ko. Diba? Pag naka-10 na, wala ng additional slot, di madalian ka na ulit. Diba? Mag-decide ka agaran. See? That's how we use. That's like, that's what we could do with your product as well. Diba? Maybe you, maybe always available naman yung product mo. What you could do is create a, an artificial scarcity by maybe creating extra bonus for limited time or discounting your product for limited time. See, bumapasok yung dead things scarcity, even if it's always available in product. Okay, next, one of my favorites as well is social proof. So sa book ni Robert Cialdini, in Influence, this social proof comes in when there's a lot of uncertainty. So sabi natin, you went to a different new place. Kahit na new mall lang eh. New mall. Pagpasok mo, hindi mo alam saan pupunta. So kung wala kang matanungan, what are you gonna do? Sunod ka kung saan yung mga tao. ba? So that's, um, we, we're basing our action based from the action of others. So kung wala, you don't know a person, then he's selling you um, maybe dog, what, um, dog cleaning materials, ba? Na super absorbent. Isang wipe mo lang, wala nang amoy ng pee ng dog. Hindi mo siya kilala. Diba? So, you'd ask people, uh, but nakita mo, meron siyang testimonial from a trusted person. Diba? Then, you heard you heard your friend mention that okay yan. There's social proof na kahit hindi niya ma-prove by himself, you're using third-party sources to prove the validity. So, how do you do this? So, if you have testimonials from other people, you could put that in. Diba? Now, if you don't trust, I mean, you don't say na if you don't trust me, but ipasa ko na, this is what what Joanna, who's a mother of three, uh, who's married and a mother of three, is saying about my product. So, minsan, minimension mo pa yung demographic ng tao para mag-connect siya sa, sa reader. Diba? Ah, kung nanay siya, then may anak siya, I'm sure gusto niya na clean always, always clean yung bahay, ayaw niya ma- maamoy, di ba? So, parang nakaka-relate siya lalo sa tao. Tapos, third-party testimonial pa yan. Much better if kilala pa yung tao. Right? So, social proof. Either testimonials, okay? Recognition. So, kung na-recognize ka sa awards, ganun. Same as authority. Um, third-party verification din kasi yan. And awards. Okay? So, that's the fourth one. Next is likability. Ito naman hindi ko consciously to ina-apply, but sometimes it's an offshoot of authority, reciprocity, and social proof na rin. Right? If you, you give them benefits all the time, of course, you, you'll be more likable, di ba? If you use your authority properly and it gets them results, it gives you more likability. So this is more generic, but it's a generic. Community naman, if you have... The last two I put this here, but because I don't I don't use, consciously use them. But community, if you it's kind of like an us versus them mentality. So may tribe ka, like may followers ka, loyal sila, di ba? Then you want to shepherd them. Kumbaga, if you have a cause that you're fighting for, for example, if you're against uh, you're an environmental advocate, di ba? And you rally for using clean energy, diba? not using fossil fuels, you could convince people to join you sa rallies, diba? to, 
to donate to your charity, to your um, foundation, to battle against the op- your enemy. Because you have a common enemy, right? So that's a part of community. Okay? But it's, normally it's the first four that I, I have most experience in. Okay? So these are the things that you could keep in mind na magagamit natin in our emails. 